Uh, my name is Noah Gunnarsson, and this is part of the band called The Courage, and we're going to play some songs for you. You get to see people's character really come out when you're on the road, when you're stuck in a car with somebody for like four hours out of the day. Time I lose my money every single time. It eats me sometimes. The more you struggle, the more you fight it, the more it clings to you at night. The more you wonder, the more you dream, the more you pray it starts to die, and it dies. Kicks you in the side. Yes, it does. We're doing this because we love to do it. Exactly. We're doing it because we love to play. And, 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 and if we get to if we get to play music together for two people, you know, like I said, something that I'm trying to work on with my mindset is that even if it's just for one person, like that one person's gonna get something out of it, and that's you know we're we're doing something good in the world. Pretty place to stay, but not knowing scares me half to death. Noah and I were talking earlier about songwriting. And yeah. Songwriting is really, it's not, it isn't something that you that you work hard at. Songwriting is really almost an outpouring of just your thought process. In and its truest, in its truest form. In its truest form, yeah. and most honest form. Baby, don't go sleeping, no, no, it doesn't. Truly great songwriters are filling themselves with good uh, literature and good vocabulary, you know, good um, language. Oh, how the lights burn like candles in the stars. Like the stars were at war and the sky was torn. When that moment comes where you have that, that, that you have that melody, you hear that melody, you sit down. Like it's it just comes and you just write what you what you're what you're, what you're thinking, you write how it comes. And you, like this prior songwriting is one of the most frustrating things because so many times you're like, I really want a new song to sing. Mm -hmm. uh, you want something clever too that's like Yeah. It has neat analogies and Yeah. And and you sit down and you're like, I wanna write this and you're like I'm gonna beat it out. Yeah, and you can't. So give me shelter. We've done like little weekend things. Like we went to Spokane. We went to Spokane and, and Idaho. Idaho last weekend. Last weekend. And we uh, we played one show in uh, it, well the sh the show in in Spokane was was phenomenal. It was real fun. <laughs> <laughs> we opened for some forty year old butt rockers. Awesome. It was great. Awesome. And then we came up and sang our folk tale. Yeah, our folk song. music. Now for something different. Now for something completely different. Yeah. And then we played a show in, in Idaho. Before I pray it starts to die, and it does. Though it kicks me in the side. Yes, it does. Though it's days on the end of the And the guy we were opening for, both of them uh, were there. It was a great show. It was a great show. Like we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Playing for an empty house 
it's real it's intimidating it makes you feel insecure but it's like some of the some of the best growing experience i think we've had are from shows that are a really noisy and nobody's listening to you that's the worst those are those yeah. are the ones that suck i'd much rather play for an empty house than play for a noisy house those are the shows where it's like you really gain a lot. You really have to evaluate yourself afterwards and say, you know, why am I doing this? You know, and 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 in the moment, I think for for a loud show for me, you just have to get in the zone. You have to get inside your own mind, or like look out and for people that are listening. And some of our best shows have been to, to like eight people. Yeah. Like you know, I, I think I don't know what why that is, but I think there's less pressure or something, but. Um, I'm super excited to play tonight. Yeah, tonight's gonna be so up. fun. Really fun, a real, a real, a real intimate show. I love playing it down with you. Down was one of my favorite places to play. doing the the stereotypical career thing which which is scary sometimes when you think about it but my my family has been kind of percent behind me which has been so great Lately, I've been drawing a lot of influences from, from older blues stuff. I really like just the feel of like chain gang songs or just that, those really basic melodies that just are so solid and just hit you like a brick in your heart. hard to, to describe, I think, what we play. You gotta come out and, and hear it for yourself.